feeling fucking bitter. Bitter as fuck. And because of this, I'm going to do some bragging. I'm going to do something that every other criminal that, that has done what I'm about to do has been busted and sent in a big jailhouse. And that is for bragging about their exploits. Now, why the fuck did they go to jail? And I'm not going to go to jail for doing what they did to get them sent to jail because the dumbasses did not wait for the statute of limitations to run out. What I did was 1999, and the statute of limitations for theft, stealing, and two years, maybe five years at the most. Okay, now what the fuck did I do? And what the goddamn fuck did I do? How many of you are aware? Huh? Talking to my phone. Oh, okay. Um, I'll be right back with us soon. Okay. Now, how many of you are aware of Pantana Bob's in Greenville, North Carolina, on Kotasha Street? Hey. Eh? Well, let me tell you that I stole from them. They made the big mistake. They made the big mistake of leaving the back door open. <laughs> Not only that, but the fence, which is usually always closed for the outside, those people on the outside. Somebody left the damn fence open. Well, me being the dishonest person I am, I walk in thinking to myself, Ha ha ha. I didn't but I because they you're supposed you were supposed to go in at the front door for the cover charge. And this is probably a Friday or Saturday night. And here I am going to the to fence door and then through the back door. And then they fucked up elsewise. Look how ugly I am. I'm gonna kill myself sometimes. They one of one of the doofuses left open the room where they put the beer taps in so that he can, they can dispense beer at the bar. I noticed this and I thought, yes, yes, yes. Vengeance is mine this time. I walked into the place. I remember in 1995, Dana Watkins, assistant manager, uh, delivery of pizza. No, no. No, she became that later. But uh, waitress at the Kinsley Pizza, eighteen zero two West Vernon Avenue. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, she was. Uh, this this is 1995. She was the assistant manager, the delivery unit pizza at the Plaza in Kinsley, North Carolina. She's like, they had a break in the Pizza Hut, and she's like, you can tell that they were dumb. They, if if I if I had broke in, I'd have went and stolen those beer taps. You can get a lot of money for those in the Greenville. It's a party time, town. So I went into the back room. I stole two of those beef beer taps. I, I ripped through from the kegs and ripped the lines that go to the beer. I ripped it out. And then I stole two Chardonnays on the shelves. I went, I left that. I went out back out the back door feeling, feeling really satisfied. A sense of self fulfillment. But that's back then I was definitely not, I was ugly back then. I was fat. I was losing my hair again. And this made me feel good. That's not, that's not the, the, the main, re, the amazing reason I did it was to atone for the karma that the Pantamer Tan and Bob's had done to me in the year, two, two years prior. Let's go back to 1997, 1998. Pantana Bob's was next door to the Underwater Pirates Cove. Now, we had karaoke on Wednesday nights at Underwater Pirates Cove. And after I sing my karaoke song, I walk out. I went next door to the Pantana Bob's. And the door people in the bouncer spoke to me arrogantly, like I was a dog. They said, you can't come in. You got, you got, you got, you ain't, you ain't got a membership. So how do I get a membership? You have to come in the daytime. And you know that was wrong. You can buy membership 
there. Now you don't have to come in the daytime. The bar in the daytime you come there's no there's no there's no there's not gonna be nobody at that that bar in the daytime. The the bar staff don't get there until around nine o'clock at night. And they saw the look of on my face that just come in come tomorrow in the daytime. And you can buy a membership. Oh, that pissed me off. Well, two years later, I got my I ran this over. I stole the two beer taps. And Dana said, and Dana had said that those are expensive. You steal one of those, that, that's going to cost you a lot of money. And I did something else to them. In 1998, I went to the door to try to get in and dig in. They said you can't come in, or maybe they were going. I don't know. Well, when they were not looking, I stole the stamp for the underage. They had a stamp that they stamped on the hands of the underagers. Well, I swapped it. Went next door back to the underwater pirates club. It was a Thursday night. No karaoke, but DJ. They sent some staff from Pantana Bob. They knew I do it. Did it. They couldn't prove it. They're like, where's our stamp? I, I'm, I'm like, what stamp? You know what you're talking about. You got I'm, No, I don't. You want to search me? Because I had put in the back the trunk of my car after I swapped it. So, I hope I screwed them out of a lot of business because hopefully they were unable to let underagers in because they couldn't walk it and such. And look at like, how I look in this video. I want to get revenge on other people who are angry, who who's done me wrong. If I cannot be a good looking guy, have my hair transplant, I'm going to do shit more, more stuff like this than my enemies. It's going to get worse and worse when I do it until I get my hair transplant. Or, I put the fifth. If only I was a good looking guy, I would not be so bitter. If only I had my hair transplant. Woman said, waitress said, I asked her, Can you tell I'm 35? She said, No, you look good. How old do I look? I I, I just knew she was gonna say younger. She's like, You look 41. I'm both the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And Jesus is not the Son of God if I don't look if I do not look in my twenties. If I look in if I keep looking in my forties, I'ma do something to get I'ma do something to get myself killed. I'm not going to tolerate this shit. My body feels like it's, like it's falling apart. Give me the goddamn stem cell. Why? Well, I'm going to start doing worse things. I ain't taking it. I am not going to old Gregsville. There's no excuse for having to live like that. There's remedies for this. There's stem cells. There's hair transplants. God fucking damn it. <laughs>